This young couple is casually celebrating the fact that they killed the girl's father in the most gruesome way. Day three after murdering somebody. Wow! These two teenagers fell madly in love, but they didn't get the approval from their parents. So they needed a solution. It was worth it. Even if it meant taking the life of someone who they were supposed to love as well, a father. Hi friends, I hope you're having a beautiful day. You're all blessed. And you won't believe the final moments before they were caught. Starting off with little Sierra and her loving father, Daniel. It seems like they were very close, especially when Sierra was still young. Look at them go! It's time to head up. So it's not a surprise to see social media posts from Daniel, like old videos of them together. Just a father and a daughter having fun. Who would have thought that one day this girl is going to murder him? He loves us. Going back to them being happy together, on April 3rd, 2021, just five days before Daniel went missing. And here we are with little Sierra Bob. Right Sierra, say hi. 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 And she's got her pink towel. From these videos you'll see just how great Daniel was as a father. They seem to have a beautiful relationship. And here's little Sierra Bob being so cute and wonderful because that's what she is. Fast forward to when Sierra turned 15. She started dating this guy, Aaron. And understandably, as a father, Daniel became protective of Sierra. Unfortunately for the two, both their parents disapproved of their love. They banned them from seeing each other. And because of this, the teenagers hated them. This was when the horrifying plan began. The father of Sierra, Daniel, posted what would be his last post ever. Good night friends, a great message on the billboard. The message was, do you believe in God? He believes in you. It was as if he was trying to say something. The next day, April 8th, everything happened so fast. Aaron ran away from home to go to Sierra. That morning, they went grocery shopping. As you can see on the CCTV photos, they bought lighter fluids and cleaning materials. On the same day, Daniel's ex-wife noticed that there was an unusual withdrawal of money from their joint account, so she called him, but he was out of reach. They called Sierra instead, who was responsive at first, but then suddenly got out of reach too. That's when they realized something was wrong. I need a welfare check for my son. He's been missing for two days, but nobody can get a hold of him. It's really, really, he just doesn't act like this. Does he live alone? He lives with his 16-year-old daughter who is not answering the phone or replying to a text. And the weird part is, I'll just tell you this, there's been ATM withdrawals at three different ATMs. And then they decided to go inside the house and they found out the front door had been left open. Daniel's car was missing and the house smelled like smoke. They went upstairs to check each room, but there was no sign of Daniel until they came back downstairs, reached the garage and saw what seemed to be a dead body. 911 emergency. I a dead body. Oh my god. Oh my god. 8417 Dumpty Fort. Do you need police, fire, or medical? Uh, there was a fire and we went in to investigate. The fire must be a couple days old. But there's a dead body in the garage. We just found him with the homeowner that doesn't live here. <sighs> Sadly, yes. It was Daniel's body that was almost cut up to pieces. The crime scene was so horrifying that I can't even describe it to you because it would be too graphic. They found a total of 70 stabs in his body, of which 42 are in his back. They also found a chainsaw in the living room, a bloodied saw in the kitchen, two knives in the sink, as well as receipts from the supermarket where they bought everything they needed for the crime. How horrifying is that? And of course, you already know who did it. And guess what? They were even proud of what they did. While the police were looking for them, they were busy celebrating. Just look at this video they took on April 11th. Day three <laughs> after murdering somebody. It was worth it. Um, and we had a lot today. I was paying them for doing it. <laughs> 
but they celebrated too early. If they thought no one would find them, they were definitely wrong. They had to pay for what they had done. Fortunately, police were successful to track them down. Just five days after committing the crime on April 13th, they were arrested. Over a year after the arrest, Aaron and Sierra were found guilty and were sentenced to life in prison. It's interesting how sometimes we say too much love will kill you, while in reality it could also be too much love will make you kill. And I can't help but be sad about Daniel. He was betrayed by the daughter that he loved. And that is something truly, truly heartbreaking. 